Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Mark here again, um, and this is going to be my um, first ever vlog. Um, this is my, so I'm going to call this a sun, Sunday afternoon vlog. And what I'm here to tell you about today is something really awesome that happened to me last night on Facebook before the Richmond race. Um, I don't know if you ever heard this show, but it, yeah, um, I don't, uh, if it's, so if those of you who have, it's, it, I, I, it's on Disney XD and it's called Lab Rats. Um, and right now it's good. They're on its fourth and final season called Lab Rats Bionic Island. When it just get ready out there, because it's gonna get canceled soon. So there, but that's a worry because next year, um, Mighty Met that show and Mighty Met are joining forces for Lab Rats. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I have to look it up again. Um, I'm trying to think. Lab Rats and Mighty Men are, mer are merging. I know that, but I can't remember the name of the show. It's just it's gonna be a spinoff of of the of both Mighty Men and Lab Rats. But it... hold on a second, I'm gonna look it up. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I'm looking really dumb here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look on Twitter. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry. And the per the person whose Twitter I'm looking up uh, um is is what I'm gonna tell you about. Hold on. I know it's called I know the lame lab rat is staying in the title. I'm trying to see what the name of it is. Okay, now I remember, now I remember, thank you. Okay, the the spinoff is called Lab Rats Elite Force. That's what's going to be called. Mighty Met and Lab Rats are, are merging to be a, a spinoff called Lab Rats Elite Force. And this is what I wanted to tell you about. Um, to those of you who've seen that show, Lab Rats, not Mighty Met, but Lab Rats by itself, um, you may have known as the only girl that stars on there, Kelly Berglund as Bree Davenport. Well, here's what happened. Um, my one neighborhood friend, um, he's on YouTube and um he um he subscribed to he subscribed to me and he was the one of the guys who asked me the well, questions I could do for my Q and A, um um fifty subscribers special, which I have to do asking more questions for, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. Um, um Tyler Lasco, um he um and his brother little brother, um, he got they got me into that show one day while I was here while they were here. And so therefore, I kind of started my favorite. My I started to kind of I kind of thought I kind of liked this girl who starred on there, Kelly Berglund. She plays Bree Davenport. Well, guess I know some of you may not believe me, but guess what? I'm actually Facebook friends with the actual Kelly Berglund. No joke. And this is what I wanted to tell you about. And this is what I came to tell you about today. Um. Um. I was I was uh, I was actually down here and right here at this desk cutting my ribs from Longhorn Steakhouse stuff. My my sister and her boyfriend bought me for dinner. Um, when I went upstairs to get something, I think I get I got, I was getting extra plate for bones. Uh, I, you know, I, nobody ever eats bones. I heard the Facebook message um, uh, sound effect go off. I actually thought it was one of my friends messaging me about some, something, few, some future plans to hang out or go for a walk around this development. When I came back, it was Kelly Berglund. I swear to God. On the outside, I was like calm. Uh, uh, like my face and everything was calm, but on the end, I'm like. Holy shit, is this really happening? I didn't want to overreact, even though I was the only one in the house. Um, she asked me a question about if, if I ever hacked a, a, a Facebook profile. I told her, no, I never have. And she told me why I was asking. I mean, why she was asking, excuse me. Because some some guy was trying to get, get in touch, trying to connect with your sister. I told her, no, that wasn't me. I, I wouldn't ever do that. And what next thing you know, I got into a really long conversation with her, and it totally made my day. I'm gonna, I am, I know some of you are, a lot of you are gonna, either gonna be jealous or not believe me, but I'm telling the God honest truth. If you, if I, if I give you permission to look at my messages on Facebook, uh, it, it, the, the proof is right there. And she gives, and she said a lot of good stuff to me. She said I, I seem like a very good, per, good person. And you know what I was doing too? I was making her laugh too, even though I wasn't trying to. I told her I had autism, I like NASCAR, I like the San Antonio Spurs, I like Ricky Martin, and Wheel of Fortune in Jeopardy. You know what else she said to me, though? She also said that, um, um, she actually asked me if I watch Supernatural, and I told her, no, I don't. I, I know I, I don't, even though I've heard of it, and she's told me I should watch it, and, I, and you know what? 
because she gave me that idea, I'm going to try to, even though I'm not really into that show, but I'm going to try to watch it, thanks to her. I, and also, I asked her to follow me on Twitter, and she says she will when she has the chance, and I told her that's fine just to take your time. Like, man, my, yeah, that, this was yesterday, and so far, because I had that long conversation with her, my day was made. It, it's so, far, it's, so far, it's going down my memory bank for 2015. Talking to my favorite actress on Facebook from her private page, and, um, on a private, on a private mess, Trevor chat. And, um, what was I gonna say? Get, buy me some time. Oh, yeah, it was just on my mind, but then I forgot. Oh yeah, um, um, I was also she she I I asked her she I I she I asked her if she was a a NASCAR fan. She said not really. I asked her if she ever watched the rest, at least uh, one part of our race. And I told her, and she said no. But but you know what I was doing, like I always do to to those girls, uh, whether they're famous or not, who know her not big of NASCAR fans. I was telling her all about it. I was telling her about my favorite driver Austin Dillon. And I was telling her about the Richmond race yesterday. Before it started, I was telling her about how Slugger Labby, or the crew chief for Austin Dillon, who arrived at Sonoma, has turned the number three team around so much. <laughs> she seemed kind of interested too. And when I was talking to her, when I was private message, when I was chatting private messaging with her, and I told her, and even though it didn't happen yesterday, I told her I was hoping Austin would pull off the Hail Mary, aka Jeremy Mayfield, and she told me good luck with that. I know it didn't work out, but hey, she was being nice about it. So yeah, that's why I wanted to tell you about. I know you, some of you may not, uh, most of you may not believe me, and some of you may be jealous of me. But it actually happened. Um, I would even show. I, I if I, and like I said, if I showed you my Facebook message, private messages of people I've talked, uh, private messages over uh, in the past and, and and recently, the proof is right there. Kelly Berglund did talk to me. So therefore, um, yeah, it really happened. So therefore, if you don't believe me, then oh well. Yeah, but to those of you who believe me, you're, you're probably going to be jealous of me. But yeah. But anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you about in this uh, Sunday afternoon vlog. Um, I'm, I'm, that, that, I'm not, that does it for this video. Um, I don't know what my next Let's Play or birthday special will be, but I will let you know it's in the Facebook fan, uh, fan group. For, uh, fan group. For, uh, uh, the, yeah, I'll try that again. I, I don't know what my let's, next Let's Play or birthday special will be, but I'll let you know in the YouTube fan group on Facebook. But until then, this is Mark Oliver signing off. I hope you have a great rest of the day going into tonight and a better day tomorrow. Take care, everyone. See you later. Have a good day.